So you know that couple who's together for so long that their friends start doing the whole like, dude, what's the deal? Just pop the question already. And then he finally does, but the engagement is so long that you sort of nod off again for a few years before you finally get to save the day. And you're all, so is this really happening? Or And then right before the big day, they call it off and here's you. <gasps> what? But also here's you. I knew it. Yeah, that's Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. This relationship started off like many others before it. Guy gets a new job. The Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas. Guy meets a colleague at work. The Seattle Supersonics select Russell Westbrook from UCLA. And they hit it off. While their friends knew that there was potential for some volatility, their energy and their no-holds-barred approach to life was really fun at first. Then the cracks started showing. And what does any complicated couple do when their private bickering makes an appearance at a very public setting? Well, they make a grand gesture, of course. Kevin Durant agreed to a five-year extension with the Thunder, the all-time no-brainer in terms of teams signing players. The beauty and I suppose frightening thing about relationships built on passion is that while they do hit lows, they swing into significant highs. And four years in, KD and Russ were in their sweet spot. 2012 champions, Oklahoma City Thunder! But when facing the heat, the duo couldn't get out of the tailspin. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. To see the emotion from Durant pouring out. Friends of any young couple know that evolution is the key to any good relationship. And unfortunately, sometimes that means streamlining. The Thunder traded reigning sixth man of the year, James Harden, to the Rockets in a multiplayer deal. Sometimes hindsight is an mf -er. Ooh, <laughs> bad decision. And the Kia NBA most valuable player goes to James Harden, the Houston Rockets. But as you know, one of the most important aspects of a relationship is guiding each other through hardships. And for a span of three years, there was a lot of leaning on each other. Are you aware of Mark Cuban's comments before the game when he said Kevin was the only superstar on this team? And, and how, how do you react to that? Hold up. He's an idiot. Don't listen to this. He's an idiot. All right, that's what we got to say about that. You know, I mean, he's an idiot. You know, Kevin's like a, a brother to me. Um, you know, we, we've been through ups and downs, and, you know, we've been in this together. Um, and I'm definitely uh, grateful for the things he said about me, and, um, you know, I'm happy I, I'm able to play with him. I know you guys think I forgot Russ. <laughs> I could speak all night about Russell, uh, an emotional guy who will run through a wall for me. It's days where I want to just tackle you. And, tell you to snap out of it sometimes, but I love you, man. I love you. But of course, every couple eventually has their breaking point. And the Golden State Warriors come back from a three games to one deficit. We just lost like 30 minutes ago. So I, don't know, I haven't even thought about it. I'm thinking about that stuff. You know, I don't know when, but we just lost an hour ago, 30 minutes ago. So I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry, time out because we thought Kevin Durant just needed what a lot of people do in volatile relationships. They just need a break, right? A minute to process in off season. And then inevitably, they'd get back together. Well, Thunder fans, the time has come. You know, a lot of you have been dreading it, but now it's here. It is reality that Kevin Durant is a free agent. However, Durant's decision, less of a breather and more of a gasp. It's here and it's Golden State for Kevin Durant. Wow. Think about that team. Think about a 73-win regular season team, one win shy of back-to-back -back NBA titles, and they just got the last MVP. How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple, that's just how I look at it. And just like that, the eight-year engagement was no more. The breakup. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing about breakups. You're never really ready. I mean, the writing may have been on the wall. Your friends may have been preparing their last rites. Heck, you too. You know, download Tinder and swipe. But there's nothing 
nothing that prepares you for that feeling of seeing your ex with that friend they told you not to worry about. That's cute, man. That's cute. Most relationship pundits will tell you there are a few steps to moving on from a relationship, like keeping yourself busy. Nothing to see here, folks, just, you know, a Fourth of July soiree and cupcakes. And we've got more on that later, though. But of course, the most important step of all, moving on. And it appeared early into the 2016-17 season that KD and Russ did exactly that. You know, it is where I moved on, you know. The first time in your NBA career you will play a game against Kevin Durant tomorrow night in Oakland. What will that be like for you? Uh, it'll be like a regular game for me, man. Go out and compete at a high level and try to get a win. But there is no greater test of indifference for your former mate than seeing them face to face. And five games into the season, we all bore witness to a reunion of soap opera proportions. He walked in the arena, had an orange vest on that said official photographer. One of Kevin Durant's favorite hobbies is photography, so it, it certainly has a little bit of a deeper meaning to it. Folks, Durant and Westbrook have to be pretty happy that at least the first matchup between the two is coming pretty early in the season. Kevin will lop it straight away, three, the tough is good. And from the backside, Westbrook smacked away a shot. Dreaded Westbrook for a big time swat of Kevin Durant. Durant for three, got it! Curry gets it behind the back to Durant. Are you kidding me? Blitz traffic down the lane, to the river with a right hand! And that will punctuate the night. The Warriors are doing a lot of trash talking, and apparently I guess they talk a lot of trash now. Trash talking is a part of it. Out on the court, they know what it is. Uh, nah, when I get on the court, I don't talk to anybody but my teammates. I'm gonna go out there and be who I am. You talk to me, I'll talk back. I don't really say much, but if you start, I'll finish it. That's what you say, bro. There was no love lost. In fact, there was no love at all. Hurt? Uh, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is the t-shirt they walked in with this morning. This is what's on the front, and this is what's on the back. That would be a cupcake. I think that's a pretty good indicator. Starting at forward, 6'9 from Texas, number 35, Kevin Durant. But the worst was yet to come. Russ is saying, I'm coming. Kevin says, so what? Stolen by Westbrook, but he couldn't hold on. As these former star teammates jawing at each other, forehead to forehead. Let's be real, when you're streaking for the finals, putting up career highs, and embarrassing your former main, who effectively cares about booze or pastry jabs for that matter? You know, I'm a part of the Golden State Warriors and I'm excited to be a part of this team. Also, don't get me wrong. It's not as if Westbrook was crying himself to sleep during that. I mean, the man was thriving. <laughs> 2017 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player Award is Russell Westbrook. It's just that while Brody's wild personal exploits were super fun to watch, KD was in a healthy, committed relationship. One that was heading towards the one thing that had eluded him at his last stop, a ring. There it is, redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. Take it from me, maturity is an underrated element of getting on with your life post breakup. And despite how contentious KD and Russ once were with each other, it looks like through the years there's been some signs of a reconciliation between the two. Russell Westbrook from Kevin Durant. Kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> Time heals all wounds right here, hopefully. I know it's only one pass, but we could have a little peace between Westbrook and Durant. And our gymnastics team was so dominant that Kevin Durant told me he wants to play for them next year. <laughs> yeah. Russell Westbrook, what do you think? They're cool now. No issues. Time heals all wounds. In OKC, I played with a lot of athletes. I didn't play with a lot of skilled guys, not like shooters, ball handlers. I was like, I need a change. And this was before the season even started. Oh my God, this is never going to end. KD just continues to throw shade to the point where it's like, him and Russell could never be cool as long as he keeps talking. Oh, what a tangled web KD and Russ have weaved. 
From a budding partnership to bitter rivals, frenemies back to foes, new challenges, new teams. But how you feel about one of the most significant separations in NBA history may come down to how you view relationships yourself. Do you prefer to face the unknown with your ride or die because of loyalty? Or bail when things get tough because of self-care? The KD Russ split is the Rorschach test of the modern NBA, and the side you're on may actually reveal more about you than these two transcendent talents. Either way, I think we can all agree on one thing. They are never, ever, ever getting back together. There is nothing more gangster than Taylor Swift. You think his championship ring had a few more diamonds than mine? Doubt it. You like my various, any other ridiculous poses that you want me to do? I'm just hanging out. Does that look natural? Thank you so much for watching ESPN's YouTube channel. And also, for all of the best in streaming and exclusive content, download ESPN+. Plus.